Um, so today's the day of videos. I just uploaded the video of Moira painting. Um, so little bit of a preface to everything, including the previous video. Um, it's been a rainy week. It's been temperature wise, not too bad, but it's been rainy. It's been gross. We haven't been able to go outside and I'm trying to do everything I can to make my kids life fun. Okay. And my main goal today was to get through the entire day without turning on the C A R T O O N S S. Um, she's in the other room. She can hear me. I don't want to hear her to hear me. Um, I didn't know what that was all about, uh, to hear me say, say things. So my plan for today, um, my hubby's at work. I was like, well, what? I usually do the messy stuff when he's not here because he'll freak out. Um, if we're being honest, I freak out a little bit. I just kind of repress it because here's, I need to get it a good angle. <laughs> hey, here's my thing. Learning is messy. Life is messy. And I don't think it's fair to kids to try to keep a completely sterile environment for them. Um, where's the fun in that? You know, when we were kids, we played out in the mud, we got dirty, um, you know, whatever. It was not a big deal. I'm sure our parents also had heart attacks, but whatever, it is what it is. So I wanted to do a bunch of painting activities today. Painting always goes poorly with her. It starts out fine and then she gives up with whatever she's doing and decides that her body is a better canvas. Um, I have a feeling as soon as she's an adult, she is going to be covered head to toe in tattoos because her body is a canvas and she will probably learn how to tattoo that herself and she will just tattoo her entire, including her face. Did you see the other video? Um, I had to cut the hair tie out of her hair to get it out because the paint had started to dry and it was just not happening. Um, so we went immediately into the shower after that. We showered, she showered, not me. And now we're here for part two. The second part of my night that I wanted to plan was mama daughter, mama baby spa night, girls night. Um, it was supposed to include Manny Petties and I let her pick out the nail polish. And she, on her own, picked out this super awesome purple. Let me do the, the thing. This super awesome purple. And this super awesome purple glitter sparkle top coat. Um, I don't think we're going to do that. <laughs> Quite frankly, I don't want to do that. I might do her fingers and her toes, but I'm not going to take my polish off and do mine too. That's just a nightmare. But what we are doing and what this video is about after three minutes, um, we are doing DIY face masks. Um, Moira, what are you doing? You want to be part of my video? Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to bring her over here. Okay, Moira, can you say hi again? Hi. Um, so what we're going to do, what I thought would be a lot of fun, is to make... This is an awful angle. Ugh. To make... DIY face masks. Um, but because she's a kid and she already has such beautiful skin, um, actually she kind of has eczema a little bit, but not seriously. Um, we just took a shower. Uh, so I didn't want to use like an actual harsh adult face mask because I don't want to hurt her delicate baby little skin. So I found recipes for DIY, all natural, kid friendly face masks. So, what are we using? We are using Meyer plain Greek yogurt. We are using honey. We are going to use some liquid coconut oil. We are going to use some good night pure essential oil blend. And I'm going to put, get out of there, we'll do that in a minute, honey. Okay, she needs chapstick for her frosting covered lips. <laughs> oh my God, that was so cute. Mama, what? To go forward? No, you're forward enough, stay there, stay there. 
Um, I'm also going to put in, I'm going to open up this tea bag and I'm going to put some of this in there. It's a stressed cinnamon chamomile and lavender tea. I thought that would be nice. And because we're fun, she's a kid and I'm fun, we're going to put glitter in our face masks. Hooray. So without further ado, let's mix this up and I will keep you guys here while I put it on her face. So you can see how much fun it is to have a child. All right, so I just have this little bowl here. It's one of her little kid bowls. And I don't know how much I'm going to need, how much I'm going to make. I'm just gonna start with one container of yogurt for now. Um, are you gonna put that chapstick on, babe? No. No? You wanna show it to the camera again? Yes. How do you do that? Show them how you do that. Don't see the camera. All right. Take the little forward. Well, honey, mama needs to be over here, so I can't put you any forward. No. No, just... that's as close as you can get. Stay there. Don't fall. Okay, so I threw the <laughs> yogurt in there. Um, so all this stuff I just got at Meijer. And I got the cheapest versions of things that I could find. Um, I'm not about spending a ton of money on anything. So... Also, guys, if you've watched my cooking videos, you know I don't measure things. So don't, don't, please don't comment and be like, hey, how much, what was your recipe for that? I'm just going to say the amount's like some, a quantity greater than zero. So coconut oil, my bowl of yogurt, and I guess if I had to quantify that, I would say two tablespoons. Sure. I'm going to, I'm also going to like mix after each ingredient that I add so I know what's going on. The thought of putting yogurt on my face is so unappealing to me right now, but apparently it's good for you. What are you doing? Playing with those? Now, honey... Guys, honey has tons of good qualities. So I'm going to kind of overdo the honey a little bit. Um, fun fact. I read a book once about like what happens to bodies after they're dead. Um, it was called... I think it was called Bodies. The Curious Life of the Human Cadaver or something like that. One of my favorite books. But... um. One of the things that it talked about in there was options for people after they die. That was mo most of the focus of the book. But one of the things it talked about was how in ancient, ancient China, and I don't know how valid any of this is. Please don't ask me to cite my sources. Uh, in ancient, ancient China, there was the option when you died to be mellified. M-E-L-L-I-F-I-E-D. Not mummified mellified and what being mellified meant was that Mama, um yes you baby you want to see the camera <laughs> very nice what it meant to be mellified was that you would in the um days months weeks i don't know leading up to your death you would consume nothing but honey you would go on a strict honey diet um and then you would die Probably because you were only eating honey. And then um, after you died, your body would get sealed in an airtight coffin. And I don't think they would have buried you. They would have put you in like a mausoleum or whatever. This is the, the essential oil. These blends, um, essential oil, nature's truth. I really like these. They're 5 or $6 a bottle. And they're not perfectly, you know, the greatest, fanciest, but, oh, this smells so good. Um, I love it. So the idea behind getting mellified was that after your body being stored, she's putting it all over her face now. It's a good thing we're doing a face mask. Um, after a thousand years, your sealed casket could be opened and your body would just be candy <laughs> and they could eat you. Um, I don't think as far as I know, no one ever 
did this. This has not been a practiced thing for real. Honey, don't turn that on, please. And what are you doing to your chapstick? You're going to break it. You're going to ruin it. Um, but I always thought that was cool. So I decided that when I die, I would like to be mellified. Um, I think that's an appealing. She's wiping chapstick on my back. All right, now for the glitter. This is so much fun. There's already the little bits, bits and bobs in there from the tea. And now there's going to be glitter. Glitter? The glitter money? Yeah, we're going to put this on your face. My face? Yeah. And then we're going to sit there and we're going to watch a cartoon. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay. So guys, this is what it looks like. Um, it's a little bit thinner than I think I would have liked, but it's not really a choice because I added all that coconut oil in there. Um, what I do think it needs is some more glitter. Let's be real. Go big or go home, right? And I let her pick the glitter too. Her options were pink or multicolored, and she picked pink. Mama? Mama? What, honey? That's my glitter. Yeah, that is your glitter. Mama? What? Okay. All right. Now, um, I'm going to pause you guys while I throw her hair up. I have a hair tie. I have one of these duders. I'm going to throw her hair up and then I will come back when I'm painting it on her face. So I'll be right back. All right, Moira, are you ready to have a face mask put on? Yes. Okay. Tell, tell Mama's friends, do you like to have good skin? Good. Skin. Yeah, do you let mama spray her spray on your face? Yes. And do you put lotion on your face every day? Yes. Yes, okay, so we're ready for this. You gonna let mama do this? Yes. Okay, keep your hands down. Don't touch your face. Stop, stop touching your face. Can you see we're already going to have so many problems with this? Okay, oh, it's cold and it feels so weird. Um, all right, don't touch your face. Put your hands down. Does that feel good? Yes. Yeah? Is it cold? Yes. This is going to make your face feel so nice. Okay. <sighs> Not yet. I got to get it. Look up. Not that far up. Jeez. Okay, just look straight at Mama. I gotta do your nose. My nose? Yeah. So I'm gonna start up here. And I'm gonna come down to your nose. So part of the reason, guys, why I wanted to do this with her is she always sees me doing my face Mama mask. Mama see me paint you. And she, I have that help whore mask. Obviously, you guys know that. And she always grabs it. And I'm like, oh, honey, no. Don't touch. Don't touch it. All right. Okay, don't touch anything. Let Mama wash her hands off, okay? Yeah, Yep, yeah. and then I'm going to put some on my face, too. Uh, Hold on. Hi, my face. All right, let me pull this closer. Look at that. How does that feel? Yes. You like that? Yes. Okay, let's go get you set up with a cartoon, okay? Yes? What cartoon do you want to watch? Um, Boss Baby Show. Boss Baby Show. All right, we'll be... We'll be right back. Okay, guys. She's set up with Boss Baby Show. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my face. <sighs> okay. <sighs> the lighting here is really bad, and this is going to be really hard. I'm just going to do it. This is so weird. Guys, this is yogurt, okay? You're supposed to eat yogurt, not put it on your face. I keep smelling her lemon cookie right here, and it's freaking me out. Um, So this was really easy to throw together really quickly. Most of these ingredients are things you probably already have in your house. Um, I had to buy it all because I didn't have them. We just recently ran out of honey and we had yogurt, but there's a chance that it's expired. So I wasn't sure if putting expired yogurt 
on my face would be a good idea. So I just bought some new yogurt. Um, I have plenty of essential oils, but I wanted a specific one for this because I want my kid to sleep good. So, oh, this actually feels really good, you guys. The tea leaves kind of exfoliate a little bit. Um, as does, I'm assuming, the glitter. <laughs> so it feels good. Um, I'm getting it in my hair, so that's cool. And it smells really good, too. Mostly, like, yogurt. I guess if you wanted to, you could use flavored yogurt. This is just plain, obviously. Um, but yeah, so again, this is just super fast, super easy. Um, I've never done this before, so I can't say how it's going to feel on my skin. I'm also not going to try to come back to this. If you guys want to know how it went, go ahead and comment. Um, I might even just say in the description before I upload it how things went. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed me trying to be the world's most fun mom today. The real question is, I have a lot left over. Can I save this? <laughs> I almost made two, did two containers. I'm glad I didn't do that. Um, watch when my husband comes home. He's like, why is your face so soft? Why is your skin so nice? Yogurt, bro. <laughs> I put yogurt on my face. He would throw up. He doesn't like yogurt. And if I told him that I rubbed yogurt all over my face, he would be sick. Um, I also, you guys know, have a tendency of putting masks on too thick. So, here we go. Alright, so thanks guys. And I look forward to your comments. And mwah, love you guys. I'm going to go watch the Boss Baby Show while this dries.